How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil the Blanks and welcome to Ariel Disney's The Little Mermaid, which is a very weird name. I think it's Disney's Ariel The Little Mermaid. I don't know why they call it Ariel specifically, because you can play as Ariel and Triton, which is sort of interesting actually. You can play as Triton. I think it's like the easy mode more so than Ariel, maybe? I have no idea. We're gonna be playing Ariel. Hello Floopy, stop bothering Bella. Uh, we're gonna play on normal. There's challenging and there's easy, we'll just play on normal. Uh, level one, The Reefs. This is a weird game. Um, I had to look up a lot of things on that. I, I wanted to do a, a blind play originally. Um, and then I was like, what the hell do I do in this game? And I actually had a, a playthrough where I was just trying to figure everything out. And it was funny to a degree. Um, but I figured it makes sense if I play this again. So you can go to your little map here by pressing the pause button. And uh, you'll find things you need to find. So there are five... Uh, things need to find, and the X is where the last area of the level, where, like, the goal is, basically. So, you go around, you're Ariel, very big sprite with very dotty eyes, uh, and you find, if you remember the Little Mermaid movie, uh, little, like, versions, I don't know what they call them, but, like, the little, your mermaid people that got transformed into the thing by Ursula, uh, and you save them, you can get keys, uh, for the treasure chest, and there's a shop, uh, and it's, it's basically just a, a hide-and-seek game in that sense. You find the things, and then you get out of here. Which, uh, while I was kind of looking into a lot of Disney games, there's a surprising amount of games that have that kind of thing. This is a store. It just says S. You can buy um, flounders, Sebastians, this random friggin' fish, and uh, keys, or a star, and we're, gonna get, we're just going to buy a life. You start with a thousand treasure. Uh, I want an extra life. Because um, we're going to handle this game, I think, differently than the game expected us to handle it. Uh, so let's find our next guy, which I already lost, like, where he is. Probably past him, because I'm an idiot. I hate the map how long it is. Yeah, I, I really was stupid. Sit back. So, when you get down to it, yeah. so you're, you're aerial, and you can shoot... Oh, whoops. Nope. Wrong button. There we go. Um, I'm using a Super NES controller because I'm playing this on the Retron, even though it's a Game Gear game, and the Game Gear only has two buttons. Uh, it, it's like a spaceship shooter. When you really get down to it, you are a spaceship, and you can shoot things. But the game is, is so kind of poorly done. Um, it's hard to aim. It's hard to... Like, you get hit so easily that by, like, the third level of my original playthrough of this, I was literally just running through enemies, and I beat the game super easily, which I thought was really funny. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I just need to know where everyone is. Uh, but it's kind of fun in a dumb way. There's only four levels. It's very short. Uh, right, so grab. Was that a key? Oh, yes, it was. There we go. So the reason why I buy the lives is because even though you die, you actually don't... You start where, right where you left off um, after you, you die. It's very weird. So we're going to go up here, I think. Oh, oh shark. Oh, God. Um, let's get uh, Sebastian. You summon them, basically. Uh, the only one you need is actually um, uh, Flounder, because you need him to be able to move um, boulders for you, I think, like, four times. So I budget them, I guess. You can buy more if you need to. Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez. I, ah, I forgot if you pause, the enemies come back. Yeah, it's a weird game, basically. I'm about to die anyways. That's fine. Dying is super not important. One more hit. Enemies will come out of nowhere to hit you. It's very frustrating. And the bosses. There's bosses. It's basically a just a war of attrition. You sit there and you attack them while they attack you. There's no sense in dodging anything they throw at you. This game also came out for the Master System, because every single friggin' um, game for the... Uh... Is this the exit? No. Uh, every game for the Master System, or, say, or Game Gear, kind of came out for each other's system. Where is the exit? That's the big problem with this game, is like, where do I go? The Genesis version of this game is much bigger, though. The the maps are twice the size, and that's not fun. That's, that's, oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. There we go. Uh, it's, it's too big, basically. So, I'd rather just the small maps of this version, so. And, there we go. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit here, and attack you. I don't know if, um... If my... Oh, I can't use my summons. Okay, so I was going to say maybe I can use that little needle nose fish guy. But you just kind of sit here. There we go. We won. On to the next level. And that's the game. Level 2, Sunken Ship. It's, like, not even that bad. Uh, the idea is okay. Like, this is kind of cool. Sunken Ship and all that. But first things first, though, let's go to our map. Let's see what we can do. The maps are big enough without being too big. You know what I mean? Okay, so bottom left. All right, cool. Alright, cool. 
down here. These are like the only enemies that I actually like fight because they don't come after you and they're very big, so you can't avoid them. So you might as well kill them, or I can still get hit because I'm an idiot. One, thank you. And you, they always come back. It's so frustrating. But yeah, like aiming is just really, really difficult. So I, that's why I just got into the whole like let's just run. Um, and there's continues, so I'm okay with getting game overs. Like it's just funny in that sense. Get the shell out of the way. Get out of the way, shell. Ooh, thank you. Money, two hundred. Nice. I don't know that. Yes. It's really um, Flotsam and Jetsam, the eels, that are, are annoying to me. Like, how is this not hitting? And another death. That's okay. Go to the top now. I could go to the bottom. There's another uh, guy I need to collect down there, but that's also where the entrance of the boss area is, so I want to avoid that for now. Let's open some treasure chests. And the thing is, like, you own, like, 100. Ooh, it's not really a lot. I mean, lives are 900, so I get, like, that's that's why I seem like I have no much no no money, because it's like, come here. How am I hitting you? Um, eh, there we go. Just gotta double check my map. Um, because I'm buying the most expensive thing, so I get it. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, let's talk about the fact that this is a Game Gear game. Um, this is the first Game Gear game that I've ever played on the channel. You're going to come back. Yep, there you are. So stupid of me. Um, and like I said, the reason why I don't really play a lot of Game Gear games is because half the time they come up for the Master System anyways. Let's summon uh, Flounder. He'll move this boulder for me. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. So, chances are, if I'm going to play a game for either of the systems, I'd probably rather play it for the... Um, the, uh, oh, whoops, well, there goes my needle, <laughs> little, little fish guy. Um, I'd rather play the Master System version because the resolution is just way better on that machine. So, but this is a game that I don't have on the Master System, but I do on the Game Gear. So I figured, why the hell not round out my, um, my resume on the systems that I've played? I'm just gonna get, like, some Neo Geo, Dreamcast, friggin' Saturn, TurboGrafx-16 games. There we go. Try to get something for everyone. A store around here too. I don't really need anything, but actually, I don't need nothing. So I don't know why I would go to the store. No, nothing there that I need. Rather buy another life, to be honest. At least the movement's actually not that bad. It's decently quick too. Go away, pirate skeleton. Totally faithful to the movie. Little Mermaid, good movie. Trivia, Disney trivia. Uh, the Little Mermaid is really the uh, Disney movie that started the Disney Renaissance. Um, with Ariel singing Part of Our World, that was the one uh, song that made Disney go, oh, wow, we like this trend of, like, the heroine or hero, um, like, talking, or, like, singing, like, vocalizing their feelings through a song. And, like, that's kind of where Disney got its groove back, you know what I mean? So we got sharks, we got two of them. Uh, this is the boss. They're somewhat fast. You kind of can't really do much with them, except shoot them at really short range, but at least I'm hitting them, so. Probably gonna take a death. The one's down. Come here, where'd you go? Because it's like, it's so hard to aim. I think that's the main thing. It's like, they could have done a really cool idea for like a spaceship shooter if they really want to, but it, the controls just make it not work very well. This is actually working out for me well, though. So that's good. There we go. That's world two. Halfway done. Level three, Atlantis. Very cool. Start right where an enemy is. That's very cool. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, let's get away from there. And we'll look at the ma uh, the map. This is kind of split up into like two distinct areas. There's like a left area and a right area, which I kind of like. I like that makes the uh, area understandable to me. My dumb brain. Uh, head down. And one right there. Thank you. Oh, I kind of want to kill the. Clam shell, if that gives me no... I can't even shoot it. Oh, well, there we go. So that might give me some money, because I wouldn't mind buying... Well, no, it didn't. I might want to buy another life. Again, it doesn't matter if you get game over. It's really not a big deal. Head up. Ooh, key. Why not? I don't shoot through walls. That's so mean. It's unnecessary. There we go. There are better Little Mermaid games. Believe me. So, if I haven't already played one for Disney Month, I'm playing these out of order, basically, then don't worry, we will play one. Uh, the NES Capcom one is fun. It's very simple, but it's very fun. This is just like a, a time waster, I guess. There we go, there you are. 
head to the store. I have no idea how much money I have, but let's see if I have enough to uh, buy a life. Don't think I will, but just in case. Yeah, not even close. Uh, exit. One more, one more. Not here. Get away from me. This is Atlantis. This is my father's domain. What are you doing attacking me? I'm a princess. There you are. Ha-ha! And... Exit is, like, right... Here? No. Shit. Oh, let's go up. On that load, take a drink from my ginger ale. Oh, it's all the way over there. Yeah, the exits make no sense. Yeah, I was surprised. Oh, whoops, used another one of those guys that I didn't mean to use. Uh, I was surprised how many friggin' Disney games have the idea of just find a bunch of things uh, and then head to the exit. Because, like, where are you? There you are. Um, friggin' The Jungle Book has the same idea. Uh, Tarzan for the Game Boy Color has the same idea. It's super weird. Like, when did that become, like, just the basics of a Disney game? I don't know if they're all maybe the same company or anything, but hurry up and die, man. You are boring me. Die. There we go. Probably got a game over here, because we only have that one life left. I don't know if zeros count. Level 4 of the cave. The Sea Witch's Cave. Damn you. Um, let's look at our map. I don't know if, if you have to recollect your guys or not. I'm not sure on that. Okay, one down there. Then we'll head up. Okay. I guess we'll find out if I get game over or not. If I get game over, hopefully I start at a boss if I'm already at the boss. Well... Oh, well, I need to move that. Oh, well, that did count, but I'm gonna die anyways. Which is fine. It's not really a big deal. It'd be nice if the treasures gave me a decent amount so I could buy a life. Head down here, get that treasure chest. <sighs> Damn you, Flotsam and Jetsam. Like, out of nowhere, too. 50, like 50. That does nothing. What's that gonna do for me? Store, don't need you. Don't need you. No clue where I'm going anymore. That's the problem, too. I have, like, the memory of a friggin' goldfish. Which is appropriate for this game, I guess. Oh, good. Go the right way. Then down. Cool. Drop the lava. Oh, no! I used a flounder! Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, crap. I'm wondering if that's... Oh, man. I might have to die... Because I need to... Well, I'm going to die anyways, but I might need that flounder, man. Because I need to move more boulders. Key for no reason. Uh, I need to make sure that I'm going the right way. I don't want to waste my flounder. Actually, I don't even know how many I have. I should have checked there. Okay, so I should go here. Uh, let's get rid of you. Ha. Huh. And... Oh, I have no flounder left. Oh, crap! I have to buy another one. Oh, man, that sucks. Who thought Little Mermaid would be a game about resources? Where did I find that store? Ah, crap. Well, you know what? Let's just die. There we go. Ah, oh, you'll never defeat me! Continue! Oh god, what's, which one's button one? Oh! Hey guys, we are back. Um, I pressed the wrong button, so I game over it and st had to start over. Um, because I'm playing this on the, um, the, uh, uh, on the Retron and not in an actual game gear, so I have no idea what button one or button two is. So I pressed the wrong button, but I figured, whatever. It took no time to get back here anyways, and we're doing a little bit better with lives, um, because, like, I'm about to buy one, first of all. Uh, thank you. I'm also about to buy more flounders, I don't want to make that mistake again, thank you. Uh, because I just basically beelined here, uh, so I didn't want to make the same mistake, so. Get away from me, you. Get you. I basically know where to go, for the most part now, and I've got the lives that I need, so. We're going to do fine. But I just think it's funny that you can go through this game while basically just running through enemies. It's basically what I was doing. So. I mean, it's not very smart on the game to be designed that way, but I mean, 
I don't think they were really caring. <laughs> so, get you, thank you, two more. Get on my way, get on my way. Damn it, how'd that hit me? Whatever. <laughs> so not a big deal. I'm gonna... Eh. Get him, get him, Sebastian. Ah! I love how he just, like, gets, like, he gets his ass kicked. It's great. Sebastian's awesome. Great character. Up we go. Another block. Or boulder, I guess. For flounder. I like the idea of the summons. It's not a bad idea, to be really honest. But, whatever. It's like so much you can do with the Little Mermaid, I guess. No, Capcom does a great job on the NES. Down. And up. The controls are not bad, though. Like, just, just the maneuvering isn't bad. It's the shooting that doesn't work really well. Don't know why there's a key when we're basically at the end here, so... All right, head to Ursula. Let's take her out. And yeah, get, get, get killed on the way. That's okay. That's fine. We have more than a life, so we should be fine. Oh no, it's Ursula. Where are you, Ursula? There you are. And get right close to her and kiss. Power of kisses. She's barely doing any damage to me. She'll be dead very, very soon. Hammering that button. Which I guess is the one button I've learned the hard way. There we go! That is Ariel the Little Mermaid. Congratulations, you have defeated Ursula. I sure have. Awesome. What a weird, silly game that was. <laughs> very short. Very, very basic. But that's the way some games were back then. Especially for portable machines. So, <laughs> thanks for joining me, guys, for this. Uh, still more Disney Month. Some better games, hopefully. <laughs> I'm Phil Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.